In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Acura app. To log into the Acura app, you will need to enter your username and password. You can from this screen also switch users. So if there are multiple users that have access to a single device, you can click on the switch user option. And then every user that's previously logged into this device will be shown here. Or well, there is a, an option here in red to log in as a brand new user if it's the first time that they've logged into the device. Okay, so we return to the login screen. Um, over to the left hand side, we can also click forgot password. So again, if a, if a user's forgotten their password, um, that can be clicked and a reset can be sent to the email address related to this username. So we'll just enter the password again. Once that's entered, press the red login button. And this is then going to take us to the home screen. So once you're logged in, uh, there are four main options visible. The option that will be used most regularly is move assets. So when physically transferring a cylinder from a main store area to an internal location or from one internal location to another internal location, the move assets function should be used. So by clicking on move assets, this will load up the camera. So at the moment you'll see my computer screen, uh, which I've got a temporary barcode loaded up. So we can scan the cylinder and it's gonna pick the asset up. If we scan the same barcode more than once, um, the app will detect that the, the asset has already been added. So we just press okay here. If there's multiple cylinders to keep scanning at this point, so we're scanning five cylinders um, to a specific department, we would keep scanning each individual barcode to, to, until we scanned all five. If there is an issue with one of the barcodes, so the cameras find it difficult to pick up and read the barcode, we can type the serial number in. So you can press the, the, the option at the bottom and then it can be manually typed. Okay, so then once we've typed um, the serial numbers and we've, we've scanned all the serial numbers necessary, we can then press continue. And now we want to be selecting the location to move the cylinders to. We can do this by scrolling through the list, which is in alphabetical order, or we can press search for location up at the top. And then we can actually type the location name in here as a search function. Okay, so this cylinder we want to move to CDS, so we'll select it and then press continue. Once here, that there are a number of options to select, um, so we can choose a container status for the cylinder. So this needs to be selected as full, empty or in use. Um, so this one is going straight onto a machine, so we'll select it as in use. And then a movement reason. So there are two options on here. Um, an interdepartmental transfer, so a, a transfer of the cylinder internally, or return back to BOC. Um, so this is when it's returned to an empty area for BOC to collect. Once we're happy with this, we can then press confirm. We'll then be prompted just to confirm the movement again. So we press OK. And then that transaction is completed.